While some people attract others like glue, others are avoided. But people are social creatures, and even if you consider yourself as a loner, you still need to communicate every day with a relatively large number of people. Nevertheless, while there may be good reasons why people avoid you in a wide berth, sometimes people don't like each other, often without cause, and that is not a problem. In this video, I will be sharing with you 13 habits that make people avoid you. 1. You talk too much. Talking in itself is not bad. However, there are two general notions that people have about people who talk too much. They lie a lot and they like to gossip. When people notice that you talk a lot, they tend to avoid you. People tend to caution themselves when they are around you. They are mindful of their statements because they are afraid that not only would you spill out their secrets, you may add lies to the stories. They prefer not to just be careful, but also not be around you at all. 2. You beg too much. Do you have that one friend who when you see his or her call, you know that they're about to ask you for something? Or are you that kind of person? If you are an individual who's always asking for one assistance or the other, people will begin to avoid you. At first, they may give you a listening ear and a helping hand, but if you keep up with the attitude of always begging, they will get fed up and start ignoring your calls. 3. You always lament. Are you constantly complaining to your friends about all the things that go wrong in your life? Do you unload all your troubles on them every time you see each other? If you answered yes, then you should just cease from that act because you could be pushing away everyone in your life with your constant whining and complaints. Indeed, your constant complaints may be genuine, but you need to cut the crap because it's tiring to those around you. When your words are negative all the time, others might have a hard time relating to you and making an emotional connection with you. It's best to seek professional help and try to get better first before pursuing any relationship seriously. 4. You are too needy. Needy individuals usually have low self-esteem. They are always in search of people who would reassure them of their self-worth. They feed on that. Everyone struggles with insecurity at one point or another in their lives. Still, it would be best if you didn't let it get the better of you, to the extent of dragging other people into your insecurities. Their insecurities can make you needy, clingy and dependent to the point where others find it irritating and won't want to be around you anymore. Being around a needy person most times feels more like a burden or a chore, rather than an enjoyable company. 5. You are too intense. When you are too harsh all the time, people tend to react by being dismissive and indifferent about you. It can be exhausting to have to deal with someone so emotionally volatile. They feel like they have to walk on eggshells around you because every little thing seems to be offensive to you. You are quick to get angry, hold grudges against people, overreact to situations and spend most of your time ranting, arguing and playing the victim. This kind of intensity can chase people away and make them think you're too high maintenance to be with. 6. You are self-centered. Another reason why people may be staring clear of you is that you're too self-centered. For instance, who wants to have a conversation with someone who only ever wants to talk about themselves? Who would like to be friends with a person who only ever cared about their wants and needs? Who wants to be friends with someone who asks but never gives? When you're so caught up in your thoughts, feelings and ideas that you fail to show interest in what other people have to say, then nobody will ever want to be with you. 7. You are not serious with life. While you might have a lot of fans because of your unserious attitude, you would most definitely lose other friends because of the same reason. Sadly, the ones who would finally give up on you are the serious-minded ones who you need the most to succeed. Your attitude of arriving late for meetings and other appointments, cancelling them at the last moments, not sticking to your promises, and so on, would not only make people avoid you, but also make them withhold opportunities from you. Such actions are showing to the people that you don't respect them, and no one wants to be close to or do business with a person whom they cannot rely on. 8. Dishonesty When we talk about someone who is a great friend, we usually mean that the person is or has proven to be trustworthy and honest to us. No one likes to have a friend who they cannot trust. Dishonest people do not only lie to you, they pass on true information, which may lead you into trouble if you act on them. Now, would you like to be friends with someone who, when he gives information to you, you do not function until you confirm from other sources? Of course no. Hence, if you're a dishonest person, people will try their possible best to avoid you. 9. You are a limpet. You do not have to be with a person all the time to show that you love them. Neither are people supposed to be with you all the time to prove that they love you. Of a truth, even amongst couples, it gets exhausting. You must give people breathing space. Everyone needs a little time for himself and your friends also. 
If you behave like a desperate limpet, you will likely attract the wrong kind of attention from certain wrong people. But other people who do not have the wrong motives will find a way to get out of your tight grip. 10. You criticize too much. When you are too judgmental, people tend to ignore you. Come to think of it, who would want to be around someone who always counters their opinion and makes them feel like they know nothing? Nobody likes people who only know how to and never gives compliments to the others. Indeed, it is necessary to provide constructive criticisms when needed. However, such compliments should be done tactfully and backed with suitable corrections. Also, just like you should give criticisms when necessary, it is right for you to compliment people when they are doing well. When you criticize without appreciating, people will avoid you. 11. You expect too much from people. It is not out of place to want your friends to do stuff for you or to reciprocate your helpful needs, but with expectations come disappointments. If you expect that your friend is always available to meet your needs, to lend you cash when you are broke, to be there for a chat when you feel down, or even always to remember your birthday, you will often get disappointed. Sometimes, you may feel so bad and say hurtful words to your friend. If people notice that you expect too much from them, they will give you a distance. First, because they are scared of disappointing you, and second, because they can't meet up with your expectations anymore. 12. You act as if you know it all. We all know that person who has the answer to everything. The ITKs, I too know. They typically start with the phrase, you know what you should do? Often, people aren't looking for you to solve their problems. They want to vent and talk through them with you to hear themselves think out loud and come to a conclusion on their own. So, when they observe that when they speak to you, all you do is make them feel like they're dumb, they will eventually begin to ignore you. 13. It's not you, it's them. Sometimes when we get anxious that people ignore us, we put the onus on ourselves that we've done something wrong. There are times when you try to get the attention of someone and they aren't interested in having a relationship. You have to understand that not everyone is going to like you and the fact that someone ignored you does not mean that you have done anything wrong. It would be best if you come to terms with the fact that, at times, the problem is with them and not you. If you notice that certain people are beginning to avoid you, you should try communicating with them. Interactions of such do more than mending the relations. They also give room for you to be a better person.